Hey y'all, um, so I didn't really prepare a video for this week, you know, I, I've got some reviews, I want to do like five reviews that I still need to film, and you know, a skit that I need to film, and I need to start writing some more, um, but I've been trying to, you know, keep a weekly upload going, you know, just for this channel. But yeah, I don't have like this uh, fancy video out for this week, but I thought I'd just come on here and, you know, flat out say, you know, the truth and what really is the purpose, um, you know, why we're all here. So the truth is, we are all sinners. Um, ever since the fall of man, we have been doomed in our sin and we are on a road to eternal separation from God. But Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, he came down and he took all that sin with him on the cross and he made a way for us to be in touch with the Father in heaven and for us to be saved and for our hearts to be purified of sin and for us to live eternally with the Father in heaven and not be separated from him. So there's so many religions on this. There's so many, you know, denominations and divisions inside of the church and, you know, it's just a huge, huge divide, a huge division of, you know, uh, what are we really supposed to believe? What are we really supposed to put our faith in? Well, you know, I'll just give it to you flat out right here. The only way you can be saved is by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Repentance. The only way you can be saved is by true repentance. What is repentance? Repentance means to turn away, to turn around. What are we turning around from? 1 John 3, 4, it says that sin is the transgression of the law. So we have broken God's commandments, we've broken his law, and therefore we are guilty of the death penalty. We are guilty in our sin and we need Jesus. We need a savior to take this sin away from us because with it we cannot be with God. God being the righteous you know, God that he is, he has to judge righteously. And if we have sin in our hearts when we enter into his presence, he cannot allow us to be with him. He has to, you know, judge us righteously and yes there is a place called hell that you will go to if you die without Jesus Christ in your heart and you die without repentance so I just thought I would you know come on here and you know address that message that the real reason why we're here um, people like me is to you know, spread the good news that Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father but through him and that he can offer you eternal salvation if you just believe in him trust in him and repent turn away from your sin he will forgive you, and He will give you a new heart. He will give you a new life. Things aren't promised to be easy. He said in this world you will have trouble, but to take heart for He has overcome the world. What He promises you is in the life that comes after, eternal life with Him and the Father in heaven. And you look at me and say, you know, how do you know any of this stuff is real? I mean, what if the Bible is just made up by 40 different people, which is, you know, really hard to say in itself because like 40 different people were able to put this together and there's no way that just you know by their own you know by their own intellect and by their own you know their own knowledge there's no way they could have just pieced this thing together like that it, it just doesn't happen it's not it's not heard of it's not not only that it's like one of the most complex and most you know intricate books ever made over a 1400 to 1600 year period if i'm not mistaken it's you know there's a lot of evidence that's been found in the Bible, a lot of things that have been found, a lot of places that have been found, a lot of, you know, things found in the Bible that have not been confirmed by any other book and have been found solely by the Bible's um, mention of that thing. Um, but, yeah, another thing to consider is that, you know, the apostles, the apostles of Jesus Christ, the apostles, if Jesus Christ is not real and did not rise from the dead, the question I want you to ask is, why in the world would these men and these women go through all this humiliation, all this harassment, all this torture, this dying in horrible ways, if it was all a lie. No sane man would do that. And, and you say, well, what if they were all insane? Yeah, mass hysteria, that, that, that makes absolutely no sense and that is like mathematically impossible. And frankly, it's been said before, too many coincidences are mathematically impossible. The apostles, they, died in horrific ways swearing that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and he is alive again and still alive to this day. They died swearing on that truth. And so I just, I wanted to leave you all with this message that, you know, despite what anyone says, despite what any religion or dogma or, you know, other opinion you might hear, there is only one way to be saved. There's only one way. 
And that is through Jesus Christ and repentance. Repentance from your sin and putting your trust in Him. That is the only way you can be saved. Friends, please, consider it. You know, I don't think, you know, the world is ending today. <laughs> um, there's a lot of tribulation that, you know, we'll go through before, you know, Christ actually does come back and take us all with Him. Um, but times are going to be rough ahead. I know that. The Bible says that. So I'm not afraid of, you know, what's coming. I don't want you guys to be afraid either. Because it's all been talked about in here. But yeah, I just remember what the whole duty of man is, as mentioned in Ecclesiastes. You know, the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments. And, you know, in the Bible it says many times, many times that we do not need to be afraid of what's going on around us. The only person we need to fear is God because he's the one who holds life and death in his hands. He's the one who holds our destiny and our purpose in his hands. And so when he says so, that's when something happens. When he says so, that's when our time comes. Not what man decides, not what anything naturally happen, that happens on this earth. Nothing. Nothing can affect, you know, what God has put us here for, what God has in store for us. He is the ultimate decider of our destiny. Put your trust in Him. He will not lead you astray. In Him you will find life. In Him you will find salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I just, I ask that you guys, please, consider it. Turn to Jesus. He loves you. He says he loves you in his word. John 3, 16. God is not an angry, hateful God. He loves you. His son died on the cross for you. Today, I just wanted you all to remember that, those who know already, and those who don't know, just turn your eyes to Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no other man comes to the Father but through him. To so turn from your son now. Because believe me, you're not a good person. He said, no man is good. The heart of man is at war with God. Don't think you're a good person. I know I'm not a good person. God knows that. Jesus Christ is Lord. Turn your eyes to him. God bless. Thank you for watching.